You ain't never seen no show like this Cracking jokes and singing we won't miss 5150 up in this bitch, yeah You ain't never seen a show like this Get old folks gonna be all in their bliss Trying to make you laugh until you kiss yeah. Cause you ain't never seen no show like this Yeah 5150-2022 It's on I'm about to say some real things Hit the mic and bring the pain Cause you ain't never seen no show like this Was weird. <laughs> they threw it at them too quick. Why did they? Why did they not play it and then it just I'm come right here. in? Um, oh. Okay. All right. Well, fuck it. Okay. What's up? Fifty-one fifty lives this second week, twenty twenty-two. It's our first week, huh, Marcus? Yay! Happy huh? New Year. What was right. it? It's me and Marcus's first time, right? Like, Happy not New Year. I you were here last week. I was in last week. Oh, I didn't say. You oh, was the only one missing. Oh. I gave you a shout out and everything. Oh, I didn't see. I didn't. I don't. I didn't. He got it. on her outfit to get them niggas at the lounge and shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and my old niggas be like, "Ooh, that's a Boston mom." <laughs> She's a DJ level <laughs> sipping paint. <That's> sipping paint. <laughs> <laughs> Darlene back in this motherfucker. So now I let motherfucker talk about. Oh, Darlene, go. She ain't coming back. No, I was getting ready for my surgery, which, by the way, I had to wait all the way up until. A little bit ago for my clean test to come back to take my surgery early in the morning. Damn, so. they say I look like Ari Spears with my shirt off. What? <laughs> in that video, y'all ain't see it. They, oh, I didn't see it. You guys, guys played. Just, oh. They learning the game. Fuck yeah, I'm going to go to the gym. <laughs> Wait, what? Get my muscles on. Huh? Yes, I did. Oh. Thank you. Please tell Kim thank you. Oh, my goodness. Man, go back up there. Yes. Oh, First yeah. of all, we are here oh, in yeah. Pasadena yes. at the lovely Coin Academy. Home of the Ballers podcast, you <laughs> dig what I'm saying? And um, we uh, we blessed. It was, it was it was a nice day today in California. Beautiful. Weather, and it's going to be like that the next couple of days, actually. Weather-wise, and then the 80 guys in the day, 40 minutes. this joint, they be... So they cool. Generous. Come on. They gave Very Marcus generous. So hey, cool. man, what? listen, y'all talked all that shit, shit man. Get, like, oh, I look see at Marcus. I got boy, mine. I got they ain't getting mad. Look, he over there looking sad like a puppet. What? But look at him. Look here. <laughs> Check me out now, cousin. You hear me? Burberry is on my face. Let me see. You hear me? Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I had to break a little note. Like yeah, a, yeah. He looked like yeah. a Nigerian Joe Pesci <laughs> in a smooth yeah. criminal video. Yeah. They had to get Corey some extra large wide frames. Uh oh. You know what I'm uh oh. <laughs> had to get extensions. <laughs> I got two perks. Oh, you got two perks? Yeah, I got one for New Year's and then one for Oh, yeah, Christmas. yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Anyway, so, yo, man, like, uh, um, well, D, you got surgery tomorrow. I do, very early in the morning. I just got the okay. Like I said, the hospital was filled with people waiting on tests to determine if they were going to have their surgeries within the next two to three days. So the hospital was loaded with people waiting on tests. It was crazy. I didn't know until about a couple hours ago that mine was still on. And I, I got a phone call, ironically, after I got mine from a friend of mine who's been waiting almost two years for a, s a very important surgery she needs. And she just called me and told me her doctor has COVID, so he can't do it. Hers was gonna be Thursday. I cannot believe that. That's doctor crazy. out here in the game. But anyway, yeah, no, that, I, I wanted Darlene to tell y'all that. So everybody who gotta go to the doctor has something like um, surgery or whatever, just know you gotta get 
check for that shit. Pre-test, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, Any, like, for going for anything. If you got well, surgery, they for, take sure. You in there, yeah. oh, for sure. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to the dentist tomorrow. They, they ain't gonna check me. They, I don't let my fuck put that shit up my nose and all that shit, though. That's why I don't be auditioning and shit. I, I ain't finna do that shit. You can't. <laughs> Well, the dentist didn't ask yeah, me either. I had a dentist it last week. They didn't ask either. Well, they, they finna fix your teeth? No, they ain't finna fix my teeth. I already got my teeth fixed, boy. <laughs> 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 I'm old and I eat <laughs> fucked up shit, so I gotta go get, I get my teeth checked out by top-notch dentist, dog. I, I fuck with a real dentist. Oh, God. My dentist ain't affordable, even though I don't even let him do the work most of the time, unless. <laughs> yeah. My dentist is like, Look up um, Dorfman. Dorfman? Yeah, Dr. Dorfman. Look him up. Cool. He was on uh, The Doctors. He's just, he, he too overpriced. When I first got here, I met him. Yeah. So long as and he was good, expensive though. then, but now I just use the dentist in his office. Yeah. Oh. For him to do the procedure, mm-hmm. they'd be like, oh, yeah, you want Dorfman? <laughs> Even though it's the same exact, he's gonna do the same job. Yeah. Mm-hmm, it's the name. Same dude. It's yeah. the name. Yeah, I'm finna go, I'm finna go get my get my teeth clean real quick. Right up, the Arkansas teeth clean? No, uh, no, they up here. I, I got I got got a little uh, health insurance. You know Sweet what I'm saying? Sweet tea remnants from Yeah. At the you know end of the mean? month I have. I got that free health that. insurance real quick, man. I said shit, let me go legal. I just said they getting their tubes tied. Oh, I don't need to get my tubes tied. I'm going to say, tubes died. Right, that oh, shit. He's right. <laughs> <laughs> you so right, though. You so right. <laughs> them tubes got leaks like a whole air <laughs> conditioner. Uh, I don't need to have them <laughs> tied at this now. point. At this point, I don't need to have them tied. You silly. They say Marcus mm-hmm. had sweaty as hell. <laughs> Man, I don't need to be sweating no more like that. What y'all don't know? <laughs> I did something simple. What? Got the baking soda deal. Oh, that's soda. it. That was all that you needed to switch. Baking soda deodorant, man. That was, that was all just you needed to a switch. dollar at the dollar store. Boy, I was nice. like, oh, that's dope. That's it. That was baking it. soda dope. Anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, uh, well, I, I want to talk about this while <laughs> Dee is here because we're going to get to Dee's segment early so she can bounce. I got to eat. She got to go to surgery. I got to eat my last meal. But I want to say this about something that really needs to be talked about in a way where black people can understand this. Let's just say this. Who do you trust more? Mainstream media or the shit that you see on the internet? I want you to know, the shit you see on the internet ain't always correct. But you can trust that more than mainstream journalists. Because all the mainstream journalists are bought. You hear me, youngsters? Mm. The people you see speaking on the news <clears throat> are not allowed to necessarily speak from the heart. They all had the same script they run all over the country. Mm-hmm. If you watch the news in California and then watch the news in Ohio, it's basically the same thing they're saying. They're paid by the same companies with the same goal to have everybody thinking a certain way. So, I mean, like, when you look at shit on Facebook and all that, because they're trying to buy all of the news media outlets on Facebook and everything. You, have you noticed whenever you say something that might be too real, you're, they, they threaten to take your um, social media account? I'm saying, yeah. Yeah. They threaten to take your stuff, social media accounts, or like Darlene said at your job, because they don't want information discussed on social media unless they're in control of it. Like we have to we have to speak around certain words or they will take this YouTube channel quicker than they're going to take it anyway. Last week, I had my brother, who was very informative on the show, Brother Riza Islam. I know the people in charge of what you watch don't like that show last week, even though that show last week, we had a lot of people watching it live, and a lot of people have viewed it. This is why I'm talking about the media, man. Like, in the media, the stuff you see, 
even on the internet, is the stuff they allow you to see. They're erasing information that they don't want you to know. Over the, uh, over the media, man. I would. I know. I know. Internet is, is is a lot of false information right there. But you know, you you'll be able to to, to to decipher which is you know most of the time you can decipher what's right or, uh, or you know what don't make sense. But yeah, it's it's you know they're trying to paint a false narrative out there or whatever narrative they're trying to paint the the media, uh, and like some people are in the in that field. You know they 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 like they're actually you know, calling out the media and shit. So a lot of times we don't believe that, you know what I mean? Because we've taught not to believe that shit. You know what I mean? We taught, we know not to believe who? We taught not to, we taught, we taught to believe everything that they tell us. Uh, because we never had, we never had a platform like that. Like people, ne people never really had a platform to, to stand on. Yeah, right. like when people, like just like when, you know, back in the day when uh, uh, different, um, Leaders and shit would come out and they would say shit. We people, it would be hard to, uh, uh, because because the media would come back and be like, oh. That's what they had a whole. When like the rally. Million Man March went down, they said one of the main headlines was mm -hmm. it wasn't a million people there, right. and we the all know thing, it was, was well thing, over a million people that was there. The only thing they could come with though. But it didn't get a lot of coverage. You're right. They didn't speak to a lot of people. They didn't. Did they show it? I can't remember if they showed it on air. I know my. Because you can my be at went. the place, right? That's what. That's what I mean. When you, be, you can be, you can be right there at the million man march and, and witness this. But, the, but then on. But if you wasn't there and then you watch it on the news, they can tell you a whole nother they story. They can tell you all kind of stuff, right? But you, you don't have a platform to tell them. No, this ain't right. This is what happened right here. And but, well, they didn't have a platform then, but now we do. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So well, when you say we do, shit. when you say we do, <clears throat> we do to a certain extent. If you give information that they don't want the people, for, for the most part, to have, mm -hmm. they shut you down. Right. Yeah. And that's why you Whether it's it. a lie or not. Yeah. They'll but say, they've always done that. They'll say you're giving false information. They've always done that to us, though. Mm -hmm. Right. They're just doing it on the internet now. An influential person I know said, in my opinion, mainstream media purposely plants misinformation and disinformation to keep you in a state of confusion and fear so that you will keep looking to them for answers. Yeah. And, and those that are most commercial and most popular are the ones that get all the ground. In other words, because because especially with older people and the majority of people that do actually watch that commercial news... That's a lot of older folks. You know that, right? So it's ingrained. They just go, oh, you ever had a conversation with an older person and you say something bad about some news person they've been watching forever? Like, no, not like he, it's almost like they're worshiping them. They can't do no wrong. You know? I like, get that, yeah. And that all the bad information about um, when it rained, cut your TV off and all that shit. See, when I was growing up, <laughs> Wait a when it rained, they'd be like, cut off the TV. It's God's work going on right now. <laughs> Oh. What, nigga, Wait, that huh? nigga, nigga, that's before my time. Nigga, that's way know. before your time, but there's no, some people out I, there, <laughs> they'll tell you, whenever it's thunderstorms or whatever. I know pool, but watching TV. Whenever it's thunderstorms or whatever, old school people used to say, you cut off everything and let God do his work. Where do they get that shit from? I don't know, because the only thing I heard was when, you know, you had to jump out of a pool if it was raining, because of the lightning striking pools, but. I'm what? saying like people from the South know what I'm talking about. I never heard Somebody that. Somebody say brainwashing is a hell of a drug. There you go, yeah. Tori well, trying I heard, to. I heard a motherfucker say when they, uh, they had surgery or something, like when they had a, uh, a rod or something in their leg. Metal rod? They, yeah, they feel something when the rain start. They can feel, tell when the rain start to poke. That's the only thing I done heard. You can, if you have a major injury. Yeah. You feel the difference in, especially arthritis too though. Without it. If you have a major injury, California is one of the best places to live because when that rain coming, you, you didn't you hurt your ankle real bad? Yeah. See, I don't know how bad you hurt it, but it's still if fucked it get, up. Oh, if it's still fucked say. up? Yeah, I be, I, sometimes I'll I, I be limping just on, on randomly. I was just gonna say. It's I good, think I fucked some nerves up or something It's good like that. you live in California because see out here, Not this is way? dry air. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But if you live where the air is moist, humid, yeah, <laughs> them injuries 
fuck with you a little more. Yeah. They come back. It's like the the humidity activate the shit. Mm. Real talk. Mm. So they ain't lying. Just imagine a nigga with metal anything in their body. That shit is not going to be good. I got metal in mine. In, in your what? Oh. Um. Your but arm? I, what yeah. do you have? Like a, like where? Rod and screws. He said arm, oh, ladies and gentlemen. On oh, my arm. So young, right. you know what? The yeah. likelihood of you, no lie. He didn't say arm. Um, he said arm. Arm. Mm. Yeah. The, the likelihood of you developing like arthritis around that later on yeah. is, is pretty They're high. young. In Thanks, brother. Yeah, where that metal thing is. Usually 99. that kind of happens to, anyway. Oh, man. Yeah, but you, you got a lot of time. You young, it's a, it's a cold world. But look, yeah. it's a whole bunch of yeah. misinformation out here that came <laughs> from mainstream media hmm. that a lot of people do not have the courage to talk about. And one I want to talk about is this Dr. Fauci. He really he don't pop back up? He ain't never going to go away. They, they got him up. In the That's mainstream the media now, they are allowing people to attack him. Okay. He wasn't allowed to be attacked at one time. I noticed because I watch the news. I'm like, here's this white man that I done read stuff up on about the awful things he did in Africa to the people, this misleading as information and everything. I done read up on this man. But I noticed none of this shit popped out in the media. So now they must be done. <laughs> you talking about, about Fauci? Fauci is a fucking dirty, rotten honky. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Goddamn dirty, right. Dirty, rotten motherfucker. Look at him. He look like a cold motherfucker. <laughs> they... Read, I don't know if they erased it off the internet. Fauci is part of experiments in Africa where people should really not be listening to what this motherfucker had to say. But now, um, now he's being sort of crucified in the media by something. Not for sale called him. Say that again? Not for sale calls him Dr. Fauci. <laughs> Dr. Fauci, yeah. That's a good one. Um, What's basically being said now, he has flip-flopped on so-called scientific evidence. And you know what I'm saying? All this stuff, listen, man, there were people on the news. I definitely want to say this one bitch name. I got to say her name because I want people to be familiar with her name. Give me one second, I'm going to have her name. I think it's... Rachel Maddow. Oh, yeah. She's all over and the place. Right? She's a, she's what a, she's a, yeah, she's a she's M-E-A-D-O-W. The pussy sucking him. Oh, yeah. You ain't seen nothing new about that one. I have watched this bitch over the years give so much misinformation about what happens when you take the poison. She's had to flip-flop on it so much. It's embarrassing. But you never hear... On the news, people talking about the misinformation that you get from mainstream media slash journalists. Mm. You never hear them say, you know they giving you bad information. There's a meme on Facebook, Instagram, where Forrest Gump, it's Forrest Gump is sitting on the bench. He say, I may not be a very smart man, but I know them first three shots didn't work. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen who made to that? Me. No, that was a meme. It's on. It's no, on the news. I know. It's just, but who made that? They listen so to me, quick. y'all. Listen to me. Y'all got to believe me when I tell y'all this. <laughs> the internet is full of people with intentions that might be better than the mainstream media or journalists. There's a lot of motherfuckers who say shit on the internet. They don't know what the fuck they talking about. Because I read shit about me and I be laughing my ass off. So. It be niggas up. calling me saying, hey, happy birthday. I be like, where they get this shit from? And they're like, mm -hmm. oh, they think, oh, Wikipedia. Well, that's, you see how that thing is created. Anybody can change some um, news on it. If you, if you got the right sources, you could just easily go in there and, and readjust stuff. But they got your birth date wrong on there. They got my yeah, birthday yeah. wrong. They got all this shit. On here, so the, 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 the internet got a lot of wrong shit. Mm -hmm. But I'm telling you, the main Carlos Carter, bet, first time catching the show. Live. I've been a fan of the show for years. Respect, oh, wow. respect. The mainstream media intentions are to give you bullshit. They want you to be the zombies walking around starting a war with the people that didn't do what you did. 
that's their goal. Because you know there's a war between the people who've been, in my opinion, um, uh, I don't want to call it the V word. All the people who took the preventative measures to not have the, the plague that's going around is at war with the people who didn't take it. In fact, they're so cocky, whenever somebody who didn't take a shot um, are sick and they die, people be like, see, that's what he get. Because he didn't do that. I wouldn't do it. No, right. I, got, I would never do that. I I'm saying, it's like, do you know how many people have died from listening to the hype? Going down there and doing that? Mm. There are athletes dropping blank on the field like crazy. And the mainstream media doesn't report that. You call, somebody call them, let me see, Voodoo Glitch call them the sheeple. Yeah. The sheeple. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'm trying to tell y'all, man, you got to you gotta research the information that you get before you stand on it. When you read them memes on the internet, this girl got so fucking mad at me because I, I, I be trying to teach him. I'm not saying this stuff to be evil. This girl uh, said... Um, Something about how her baby daddy uh -oh. wasted her time. And I sent her a text. She said her valuable time. And I said, your deadbeat baby daddy was a lesson showing your time is very affordable, man. Oh. <laughs> and she took, <laughs> she took super offense to this. <laughs> See, that's the truth on the but internet saying, that they'll right? take my page for. You know why they'll take my page? Because they don't want her to realize she wasted her time. <laughs> right, right, with his antics or whatever. There is no like, somebody like, wasted my time. If somebody, if I'm around somebody and they do what I expect them to do, I'd be mad because they dated. take too long to do it. There you go. I yeah. hate girls that try to tell you who they are and what they love. That is the dumbest shit you could talk to me about because every one of them then got me. <laughs> so when a girl is talking to me about love, I just be like, uh-huh. Mm, yeah. Oh, man. All right. The fact is, every woman I let in my life <laughs> got me. Every one of them. Got you what you mean, financially? <laughs> one way or another, they got me. <laughs> they got me, Mark. Financially burnt you? Was... See, it's stuff you would never even think of. Okay. It's stuff you would never think me... of. See. I'm, I want to make this clear. Corey Holcomb yeah. is a philanderer. A guy who messes with multiple women. Yeah. Corey Holcomb is a philanderer, and I make this clear. Mm -hmm. It still ain't enough. They still mess with me, and they get me every time in ways where I have, I ain't gonna lie. One that happened recently, I was like, you know what? I ain't never seen that one before. You know, <laughs> you got to give me an example, man. You got to give me an example of what I want to get. I just want to learn yeah. ahead of time so he don't. Yeah, I ain't got the money yet. <laughs> <laughs> I promise you it ain't money. Huh? I promise you it ain't money. It ain't the money? Man, when I was dirt broke, every girl I ever dealt with got me, did something <laughs> evil to me. Not something like, oh. see, this is what guys do for the most part. Most of the time, guys lie about. Where about where they going and what they doing to keep the pussy they want to keep. Yeah. That's what guys do. Oh. <laughs> yeah. In abundance, guys do that. Guys, there you go. men don't have In the abundance. courage to say, look, you one of the girls I fuck with. You got a place in my life. I use you for this, and it's mm. important to me. Now fuck with me while we while I do what I'm doing. Most yeah. guys don't have the courage to say that. Yeah. No, Even if you don't. tell them, though, they still going to do something evil and justify it. Trust me. But I'm saying there are so many girls, women in this world, <laughs> who are oblivious to what they're doing. I'm talking about they really don't see who they are. And I am proof that what I'm saying is a fact because I have been so good to so many people. But I will not obey and in the past i would lie and say hey it's only you 
Who I want no dick for? I ain't living like that. That shit. That's what I would do. <laughs> Somehow I don't believe that he ever even did that. I don't believe he did that. I'm just telling you. <laughs> you you, don't think you it, never hear this in the media. You never hear this, and this is a fact. <laughs> Most people hate bitches. Matter of fact, you, you said most people or most men. Most people hate women. Mm. You never hear that in the media, but this is a fact. Women hate mm. women. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> women hate women. I watch how women treat each other. Yeah, if they're not, yeah, if they're not uh, secure and they're not, you know. Listen to me. They, you, you know, I don't need them. to get it out because I want to tell you what oh. I didn't say. Let me tell you. I don't see women treat each other fairly, but they will talk shit if somebody else don't treat the bitch fair. She a dog her homegirl out, but if you dog her out, she a talk shit to you about dogging her out. Bitch can't stand her homegirl for whatever reason it might be. Her homegirl might be cute. Her homegirl might have some money. Her homegirl might have a car or whatever, and she can't stand that bitch just because of that. But we'll tell you all the bullshit about righteousness. Bitches hate each other, dog. Trust me. And once in a while, you meet a good bitch that's good to everybody. <laughs> and what? once in a while, you meet a good man that's good to everybody. Yeah, you see Most you of the world see. is full of haters and envious motherfuckers, especially bitches, because bitches will burn down their own house if they can't get motherfuckers to obey and do what the fuck they say. Look, a bitch can be he's married saying, to motherfucking Dr. Bitches, Dre, Eddie Murphy, Shaquille O'Neal, all these niggas who found a way through the system. Couldn't they one of them keep they bitch? Well, speaking of burning, <laughs> did you hear about which the Drake wrong? situation? No, nah, what happened, Mark? Which, 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 so this girl trying to sue Drake right now. No, I'm not true story. I seen it on the uh, This the Tabasco shit? Got, yeah, yeah dig it. Give it cool, because a lot of people don't know. Oh. All right, so had this chick, she was dealing, dealing with Drake. She agreed to have sex with him. He get the fucking on and shit, you know, he knock her off. Go to the bathroom, get rid of the condom. Come up, come up out of there. She go to the bathroom. All he hear is, ah, ah, ah. She hollering. He come in there. Then, <laughs> He had put some hot sauce in the car to, to, to kill the babies, to kill the sperm. This bitch done pulled the sperm I don't know. in a coochie, bro. Yeah, I heard this story. I just oh, couldn't. I didn't know I if it was. Ain't no man no being burnt that way, boy. Right, that's what I'm saying. I don't know if it's a fact. I heard I the story. Know. That's why I wanted him to get the shit out. Uh, for, for the people who don't understand what he said. Uh, Drake put some motherfucking hot sauce in the condom and the bitch, bitch got burnt with a rubber. Up her pussy. <laughs> get pregnant by the nigga or whatever. Oh my God. Somebody, this is Corey mad because that one big girl had panty residue what? or something like that. Whatever y'all oh. say, I'm talking to the people who done been through life. See, Marcus Young. Marcus probably still think he has the ability. Let me repeat that part again, because I don't want nobody to misunderstand what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean, mm. especially me. Go ahead. Marcus <laughs> thinks he has the ability to find a quality woman. Hey, Corey, hold on now. Hold on now. Ready yet? Wait a minute. I think I done found somebody oh, pretty cool man. now. <laughs> I think I done found Here somebody go. came in. Here we go. Giving. You know what I'm saying? She came in giving, offering. What do you need? I got you. I got your back Care. like a spinal cord. Care. You hear me? Oh, what, what, I, I put your schedule together. Oh, oh, I'm gonna write down everything you need work. to do. Oh. I got your, I got your whole calendar. I'm gonna send it to you and put it on the Microsoft uh, uh, Outlook. Like what a team? Oh, yeah. Oh, man, I'm talking about. Uh -oh. Look, I'm here for you, but I'm scared of that. Uh oh. Because <laughs> let me tell you something. You heard That's what my brother said. You you Marcus was like, "Hold on, Corey. I found. I listened to Marcus because I'm the OG." Mm. Let me tell you something, Mark. What about when you don't need a bitch for that? What purpose she gonna serve then? The man might be ready to settle down a bit. You wanna listen to that shit? 
<laughs> you can't tell the man what he wants. She, My goodness. She, you should listen to the question I asked you and think about it. What about when you don't need a bitch to do nothing but be a good bitch? She can't be that. She can't be that while doing all that. As long as she can accept other bitches, better. That's oh, good bitches. There you go. Well, he get, didn't put it out I don't like your multiple good. Man, I always had, but Darlene, I always had two of everything. I had two, used to have well, two you, cars. So you I got two phones. Well, that's it. You, got, you always got to have backup because something might go wrong. So tell her. What woman bitch die on me? I need a backup bitch. But tell her you like all that, but she ain't the only one. That's all. I already told her. Shit. Yeah, Somebody told said her. she invested in her future, Mark. It's not yours. There's some OG <laughs> niggas. In, OG <laughs> niggas in here. <laughs> <laughs> See, I watch a woman very carefully. And all you got to do is be a good person around me. It ain't hard to figure out. But see, when I'm around you, everything is going to be revealed. Yo, most of the women try to reveal some shit about, aha, you was with another girl. All right, I'm caught. <laughs> like I ain't never told you that. I didn't give you the details of everything I do, but I've been told you who I was. Let me tell you something about the women that I've been around in my life. They've done evil things that you can't make excuses for. But they can. They make an excuse <laughs> about everything they did. Because I never was a motherfucker who was ever with one girl at a time. That justifies Everything they did, when the truth is, if they was a good bitch, they wouldn't have been able to do the shit because it ain't part of their motherfucking principles and character. They act like I brought the devil out of them. <laughs> man, I don't know, man. She, she all right now. She you young, I'm Marcus. I'm, 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 I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm scared because I, I ain't never came in full fledged like this. Just offering, just, just enjoy off the real. You know what I'm saying? Receive. Just receive. You know, she like, I reciprocate, whatever. Just woo, woo. It, Somebody say, be a lady around court. That's right. If you conduct yourself like a queen, I will bow down to you. I will go. Oh, you ain't buying down to shit. I don't want to hear that shit. You, hey, that's a crock of shit right now. Every time <laughs> I got motherfucking mm -hmm. tangible things I can show that I do. To a, for a motherfucker so that really Corey's is on some stand-up shit. Corey's a scorned man. Somebody can say I'm a scorned man. That's all excuses that people make when they know I'm right. I'm here to tell y'all, man. Even your mama wasn't shit. You ain't got the courage to say it. Your mama wasn't shit. Where your daddy at? Where your daddy at? He fucked up? Let me tell you something. Your daddy fucked your mama because she was easy. Mm. I can't look at huh? this. Face. I can't look at Your daddy it. fucked your mama because she was easy. She was accessible. Yeah. This face. I How can look. these ain't shit niggas be fucking all the bitches? Let me tell you why. Because they bitches. That's how you fuck them all. Hmm. They easy. <laughs> Even the ones that was brought up in the church. Them the worst ones. Ooh. Preacher's daughters. Them hoes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I ain't never met a preacher daughter that wasn't no hoe. Somebody say, so should we stay married to the streets? Mm. Marcus Fields. Let me answer that. Let me answer that. The streets each his own. are training grounds for valuable information. If you ain't been in the streets, you don't know some shit you really need to know. That's why when you listen to these Caucasian journalists that come from their little Caucasian world and ain't never really seen shit, you really getting robbed. But I'm saying, the streets can give you the other side of the game that is mandatory for you to know so that you can make proper decisions on what the fuck you supposed to do. If you go to church but ain't never been in the streets, you are fucking lame. That's where you get your real psychology at. That's where you study human minds in the motherfucking streets. Because motherfuckers are going to be raw and uncut out that motherfucker, and they're going to be themselves. You understand me? The, the streets is untamed. You can't live in the streets, because if you live in the streets, your number going to come up quicker. Yeah. But you can learn in the streets. 
Yeah. There's a lot of shit you can learn in the streets. But your job as an individual is to get the fuck away from the motherfucking streets as a motherfucking career. The streets can't be your career. I'm talking about drug dealing, pimping, whatever the fuck. (laughs) This can't be your career. This got to be some shit you might dip in for a minute to motherfucking be a better person. Mm. Yeah. See, Just like a woman fuck a man to get his money so she could better herself. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Which is how many, what is the percentage of women that fuck a man to better herself? I'm talking about like, out there like, how many women well, this, the, the, be with a man just cause just, he can financially put her on a pedestal step where she yeah. can begin? Well, step the thing is, is not I would give it 75. That's about right, probably. <laughs> and majority of them would never admit it. You know what I'm saying? So the Jordan number would never would never admit yeah. that they, they would, D. Yeah, that, that that they're doing it for that for that reason. So you saying? Are you saying, D? Hey, white bitch, who reporting shit? Report this, D. Are you saying? <laughs> Beyonce saw Jay Jay Z and was like, "I got to have that." Is that what you saying? know their situation i believe she was young when she met him so a lot of times when you're younger too you get a little sprung on somebody that i believe that beyonce games, like games. and okay. jay-z he, have become close for real i do too oh, i yeah. believe they are yeah. a unit for real you know, groomed I think he, he groomed time, her, sure. and I think she groomed him a little bit too. Because he was more street. Than I her. believe that her success right. as an artist that men can listen to came from when she got with Jay Z. Niggas could listen to her Beyonce albums now, but in the past I it was Fruit Booty niggas. No, I think you can. You could be. Y'all can't listen to it now. Come Fruit on. Booty niggas would go by Beyonce. Now, um, guys who have the Imagination to open their mind can listen to Beyonce because of Jay Z's influence in her music. So what what Beyonce song can you listen to? Um, if you're in the club like, and they put in they put on something that you felt you didn't even know the name. To I it, can't even think of no song did. right now that I. What about when the bitch was sitting on dick in the tub? Yeah. What the hell is that? They play that. You didn't hear it. Surfboard when she surfed. Oh, surfboard. Yeah. What that song? But you know what I'm talking about. It don't, it don't matter. It don't matter. The you bitch was it. sitting up. No, no. Oh, come on. Listen, study all Beyonce music before JC. The Hollywood of. The, wait a minute. The Hollywood of. <laughs> 5150. <laughs> Thank before you. JC, before, <laughs> you know what's that nigga JC? Before Jay Z, <laughs> before Jay Z, mm. that bitch wasn't talking about sitting on dick in no tub. That bitch was like, if you like it, put a ring on it. Well, she grew in the Sucker ass bills, female pay my shit. Bills, yeah. survive, you know, right, pay my bills, all that sucker shit mm. these bitches be thinking about. She did get a little freaky when she got to talk about Jay Z. When out. she had I mean, the got influence Jay-Z. of a man in her life, it opened her eyes. And I'm smart enough to know that. When I up. saw them CDs come out, I was like, yeah, that's that influence from a nigga right up on her. Yeah. A nigga she couldn't deny because he had made music that was successful too. Soldier was good. Man, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lot of, a lot of R&B songs, women's, women R&B songs I fuck with, but I can't think of nothing off the head. Like from Beyonce, that I'll just be like, nigga, that's my shit. I play but that. have you heard the, on the, break, the, the, the break lyrics to, stuff, to, to dance, sit on the dick in the tub song? No. Have you heard the lyrics? Talking about the drunk in love. Yeah. Have you heard it? We, we, uh-uh. See, what? I mean, I have, it, but it I ain't paying no attention to it. to it. No, no, no. It's, this is the influence of a nigga behind Beyonce. Okay. And we brought them up because I was saying, I believe that when Beyonce got with Jay-Z, it was because of his power. Mm. But I believe now. they have become a couple who actually give a fuck about this shit like that. Mm. Oh, you saying they fuck with each other? They fuck with each other. Yeah. Yeah, they I mean, believe that. Yeah. I tell bitches that all the time. Bitch, I know you don't like me, but fuck with me, bitch. <laughs> Man, hey, if I, cold bitches fall in love with ugly niggas all the time. Man, that's that's a, to do with, I'm yeah, telling you, it's a flavor. Yeah, shit, yeah, nigga, we get in there, especially if you find it. If you want to do a real one, a lot of times that's Come on, time, she laughing because she got eyes closed. 
You know what I'm saying? So she, kind of reasons, right. I'm saying if you're a funny nigga, it don't matter if you ugly or not. God damn it, she laughing the most of the time. I so know you can, close. So she I know you can get a bitch in the pussy. Yeah, she ain't looking at you. Back when I was popped <laughs> off, I used to do it all the time. She envisioning the love <laughs> Bitches that I knew didn't want to give me it's no pussy. Great. But after I, after I was around her for a little while, they was like, let me go and get this nigga some pussy. This nigga, uh, this is my nigga. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all day long. Somebody say Beyonce dad has always been a strong influence on her. They said, Let me tell you something. Beyonce dad had a baby, well, and yeah, Beyonce wouldn't later. even go see the baby. What kind of influence her dad get? Yeah, because the do y'all like, read yeah. the lines? Yeah, come on. That nigga was in check. I bet you Beyonce's sister can't jump on Beyonce. I mean, can't jump on Jay Z in the elevator yeah. now. Yeah. What's the change? Years have passed. What's that She'll be like, hold on, bitch. Oh, OK, OK, OK. <laughs> oh, yeah, because they were going oh, through that's it. True, yeah. Because yeah. you disrespected me, too. Because I chose to stay. That's my man. That's my man. You see man. what I'm saying? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because they, yeah, they was going through some, they were going through a rough right. patch. Well, that. If they right, go through and, another rough patch, she's going to be able to be like, like bitch, ass. you better go somewhere and DJ or something, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do that <laughs> shit, bitch. She told history. She stayed. She stuck with the program. <laughs> right. What happens with friends, too. You ain't got like, no business interfering with couples yes. just because. If my sister is married to a dude and I walk up on him <laughs> busting slob with a bitch at the club, <laughs> Am I supposed to go tell my sister Marcus? No. 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 Do you say, mm hmm? When I didn't, no, I'm, I'm talking Miss Lips. No, I'm just saying there's so what? far that certain people can go. If you choose to get involved with your family or people like that where you know that's, it doesn't make a difference. You, you're going to go ahead and get involved, show yourself, waste energy, and then they stay with the person. So, you know, sometimes you just got to wish somebody well. And then I'll say something to the nigga before aside. I say something to the motherfucking exactly. female family member. There you go. Exactly. You if a female aside. family member was getting cheated on by a man, I'd say something to him. I'd let him know, hey, man, right look, that ain't, yeah. that's my sister, man. Mm -hmm. All I'm saying, man, you got to take care of my motherfucking sister, man. Don't, don't, don't be smiling with me and you ain't got good intentions by my sister. Cause dick pussy don't mean he ain't got good intentions. Yeah. If a man fuck a bitch, that don't mean he don't give a fuck about his family. That's you listening to Oprah Winfrey, but ugly wolf face ass. Right, but if he's bringing dirt around, if he's got girls showing up, bringing babies around, or causing drama, fights, throwing things, wait, if he's wait, doing say, that. Say that again, D. I want to make sure I catch it. If he's the, allowing, what you said is important. If, if he's allowing, give it to me. if if but if he's allowing his dirt to trickle to his place or his lady, that's not you can't allow that. What to if happen. he burnt your sister? Nigga? The sister got burned fucking with that nigga. Mm. What I'm saying, this shit with D said, that's funny, Morgan. <laughs> this shit D said is D. Yeah. You see, I want to let all you ladies out there know. It is a different time in the world. Ooh, so we different. cannot keep hiding important bitches <laughs> we fuck with from you. We simply cannot keep playing this bullshit only you game. Niggas go out there in the streets. Jeremy Jennings gave us $50. You have an amazing show going. I've been watching a while. Uh, he get a chance to listen to my friend. Oh, he, oh, he's from a podcast, a, oh, Well, you can't Say be mad shit, because I'm you deep in thought. I shouldn't have said that. Listen, this is what I want y'all ladies out there to know. And I want you to note it on this day. Mm. Because in the future, you're going to be like, I remember Corey Holcomb saying something about that. <laughs> we cannot keep lying and living a fucking life that Europeans told you is the right way. <clears throat> Niggas got bitches. Motherfuckers <laughs> got people in the streets that's important that need to unite as one. Oh, God. Fellas. <laughs> If you say. think that you are good enough to have a man all to yourself, <laughs> you are disillusioned. Niggas got bitches. I would never introduce a frivolous bitch to my girl. If I bring the bitch before you, this bitch is a bitch of valor. This bitch can help us, baby. That's why I brought her that right. before you. All of this just be with one bitch. That shit ain't never happened in history of the world. You only doing that because you ain't able to. Stand on your shit. 
Here we God go. God damn it. Got Look it. here. Okay, we'll talk We got to gotta stand on our shit, fellas. We'll, I'd like to talk to you again. Look, all you do is be I'd like to talk to you again when he turns Corey's age. No, like see, I'm going to be a bad motherfucker when I turn that nigga age. I'm going to be a bad motherfucker. You're going to have the same problems. Boy, who have they going to have shit on Marcus? You're going to have the same problems and say, yes, she's going. Who have they going to have shit on Marcus? You got to stand on your square and let her know other hoes going to be there. Do you hear me? Say that again. You got to stand on your square and let her know other hoes going to be there. There you go. Yeah, man. I am yeah, yeah, so yeah. tired of bitches rolling their eyes at other bitches at funerals. This is the <laughs> dumbest shit in the world. That bitch held him down. <laughs> Look, let me tell y'all something. <laughs> at my father's funeral. Oh, what happened? My what? father only got married one time. It was to my mother. Yay. And my father's sister's and brothers, my father's sisters and brothers, honored my mother as my father's wife. Yeah. That's who they knew him to have married. Yeah. Because you got to give him a ranking. But the bitch that they linked up with the most name was Diane. That was my daddy's main bitch. <laughs> Wait, and wait. she was at the funeral, and I wish my mama would act like something was wrong. They would have told her, he be with this bitch. <laughs> oh, no. We know her. Oh. Yeah. This is what happens all over the fucking world. Oh, God. Yeah. This is what happens if JC, comedian, I'm trying to motherfucking make this point. Uh, please, thank you for the $100 blessing. That is right. I appreciate thank you. you. Yeah, but listen, man. this no. happens all over the fucking world, man. Sure it does. That nigga, sure my is. father, you think my father evil because he had more than one woman. My mother and my father wasn't together like that, but my father always honored my mother. He said, this is my wife. This is the only woman I ever married. Yeah. But it was another one who was just as important to him. He kept fucking with her. I remember that lady used to give us money, and we ain't tell my mama shit. Oh, that's why ah, it was okay. Ah, yeah. See? Ah, and see, it would have been cold if ah, mama would have been cold with it and just accepted that money. It's extra money. What? Let me tell you something. One day, my mama popped over my father's house unannounced when we was kids. I remember my father and Diane drove us all home. My mama, me, and my brother. That's who was with my mama. When I'm young, I'm not taking all this in. <laughs> wait, yeah. wait, wait. Nigga, I was born to be this nigga. That's who my father was. See, my dad was. I'm tired of dishonoring my father, acting like I'm a one <laughs> nigga, I mean a one woman motherfucker. No. No. <laughs> this is part of my lineage. See? We uh, out here, nigga. Every, every we out here. Y'all can act like it's just me if you want to. <laughs> Make you feel better. I know right now some of you niggas sitting next to your woman Everybody talking knows. about, you know what? Instead of saying Corey is the realest, that nigga is looking at his woman right now saying, that nigga crazy. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we don't want to do anything. That's funny. Hey, hey man. Y'all got to stand up, fella. You got to stand when up. We what gonna they going to do? Mm-hmm. What they going to do? If they don't stand up. What y'all when stand up? What they going to do? Be <laughs> single? <laughs> Them the bitches you don't want no way. Now, now what I are we going to stand up Wait. and have the courage to say, babe, listen, you are who I honor as my girl who is the top. But this Ooh. motherfucker right here is to be brought into the family. Yeah. This motherfucker is down with us. <laughs> what's, what's when that? are we going to say that? What's that? Yeah, what's that place? What's the place you got? You got first place and then you got what's the other place? I got the new shirt. Not honorable mention. It's, a, it's, a, it's another one. <laughs> Darlene say she got a new I shirt. I got a new shirt. Somebody <laughs> said, this is Sparta. <laughs> Wait, yeah. <laughs> no, not side chicks matter, no. Huh? Y'all's chosen. Diane. Thanks for the 20. Diane's <laughs> matter. <laughs> Diane's matter. I don't know where Di- Diane at. I hope she find me. Uh, you're, I don't dis. I mean, Di- Diane. Somebody say she bought me. Your she pseudo didn't, stepmama. She she didn't have to buy me. Diane always was nice to me, and her motherfucking kid. Oh. She had a son. That's the one I remember. His name was X. This was a gangster ass nigga. He was always cool with us. He was a little older folks. than us. 
And I met the nigga later in life when I lived on the north side. You said she had a nigga? She had a son. Oh, okay, okay. His name was X. Found out your brother. probably did. No, he wasn't my real brother. This yeah. is her son. Okay, okay. Diane's son. Yeah. yeah. And when I met the nigga later in life, he was always good to us. Yeah. He was just like a G-ass nigga. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? No joke. Y'all ain't never get into it with him? No, he okay. was always. Now, I don't know about the other no, two. Okay. Okay. My dad was probably she had two give it to you. They always rolled their eyes at us. Because we was the project motherfuckers. <laughs> yeah. The uh, okay. other kids used to roll their eyes. But X, I think he was the oldest. This nigga ain't never do nothing but, what's up? You you good? Look out for me. I'm talking about you meet him later in life. <laughs> yeah. I forgot about that song. Somebody motherfucker, y'all motherfucker get mad if you want to, man. It's not natural to be lying. That's what it's not natural to do. Mm. But unfortunately, just, in America, everybody lie but about you, everything. But you just said the key word there. It's not natural to lie. And most of these situations explode or don't go as smooth as they may have had a chance to because somebody's lying. Most, pe most people don't want to speak the truth and say that about how Hex, they find are. me. Find you know me, X. I ain't seen you Most in a while. Most of the guys won't say that. They call him your side brother. <laughs> he is. <laughs> he is. That is fun. We gotta look him up. What's their last name? He gonna find me, nigga. Niggas gonna find me. We need to look him up. Them niggas, gonna gonna find find it, nigga. up. Them niggas <laughs> found my son by the broad um, Vicky. Yeah, but we don't know anything else. You didn't say Diane's last name. And found name. some dirt on him and tried to put that on the internet. This nigga ain't with me. He ain't being guided like he would be yeah, guided if up. he was around me. Thank you, Will. Thank you, Will. So don't grab some shit you, like you see some dirt on a nigga and you motherfucking bring it up just frivolously. Yeah, instead of just would like you feel away if you was a side like, baby? If I was a side baby, yeah. Would you? Would you be? Would you? I be, can't say how I feel if I was a side baby because I'm, not, I'm Corey. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My mama is Earlene. Love it. Man, my grandma's name was Earlene. Earlene we from the country, nigga. It was a popular name back then. That's hey, crazy, man. <laughs> but all this, all this bullshit mm. that goes on in the world where everybody perpetrates That's right, to be this. True. Lying is the problem. You're right, Darius. Lying is man, the problem. Man, these motherfuckers don't understand. Somebody said Corey Patrice O'Neill tonight. Patrice was my little brother, nigga. I can't. I didn't teach Patrice nothing. But trust me, Patrice watched me and realized ain't no need in holding back. <laughs> Ain't no need in holding back. I'm Patrice sure was a always a nigga with knowledge and all that shit. But when he watched Corey Holcomb, that motherfucker said, I wish I would hold back. I'm I claim sure. that. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of niggas watch your shit and was like, nigga, he can say this shit, nigga. <laughs> you can say what the fuck more, you want to say. I gotta get a little more insensitive. You grown. You grown. All look, but this is the problem. Hmm. Lying is the norm. You are taught to lie when there's any adversity in this society. Or you're taught to learn when you become uncomfortable. So instead of just, you know, being a, 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 a G about things, people get uncomfortable and get scared and nervous and they don't want to speak on the truth. They'd rather just lie. This is, this is what's sad about the whole thing. Shit. There are people who have lived the same repetitive failure for 20 straight years of their life. And to this day, they still think it's everybody else. Do you know why? I, I meet these people, and I never, I'm tell you, I get the fuck away from these people. When you really, they, you don't see it's you. You have been in this same situation for 20 plus years, and you still think Somebody doing you wrong. I get the fuck away from them people. Yeah, Majority. especially if, they, they're, if they're, oh, sorry, Marcus, especially Good. if they're complaining about it. Like, I know people like that, too, and it's like, why are you, you're complaining about the same thing? You don't get it? What's his what? name, D? Mar, you can't see. We just, um. No, it's, his name is Mario St. Fleur. Saint I just Fleur. wanted you to say his name. Because oh, he said, what's up? I, was just I want to that. tell you, in Islam, a man that. can marry Four women if he can't afford it. When I was in D.C., we a brother to told me that. A lot, of, a lot of men are poor. So they can't afford to move like that. That's why you niggas got to boss up and get on your shit. So you can do what you want. You don't have to lie and move around like that. See, you're trying to do it while you're unprepared. When you're prepared as a man, as you're supposed to be, as a foundation, then you can move how you want to move.
The only way you can do this as a broke nigga you know is if your wood game is immaculate. <laughs> <laughs> and that only lasts but so long. If you're working with that hammer, nigga, <laughs> you had to keep rotation, though. I'm not saying you could keep the bitches, but then yeah, listen you to had to keep a rotate. You had to keep a rotate, though. Then listen to you a little longer than the next nigga. A woman want that security, my nigga. That's so silly. Baby, she want that security. Believe me. You know what D said? That's so silly. This is accurate. Because it don't last long. That's a, that's a whatever. That's like a... And then see, but see, some of them, some niggas be so programmed they get rich, and then they still stick with one because they they've been programmed to believe. Well, you know, rich got one woman. It's niggas, it's, it's celebrities out here. Programmed. It's I'm some saying, but they, I'm saying, own, they may have own. one, but they ain't telling them. They ain't, they ain't, they ain't straight up. But listen what to saying. what I'm saying, little bro, little bro. Who you know got one woman? Do you know a nigga that got one but, woman? But this nigga still lying. Exactly. As a, as, a, as a rich nigga, though. I shouldn't have to lie. I got too much money to lie to you. But you they do. But they continually do. That's what I'm saying. Because they know like, that the odds of them telling the truth that they might not get their full weight. This is a nigga who got one woman. <laughs> a nigga who's finished. His, 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 He's tired. He has, he has He's ailments done. that will not allow him to run the streets no more. Man, That's a nigga with one woman. I wouldn't give a And the reason he got that one woman, because he don't want to cross her in a way where she won't be there for his sick ass. <laughs> That's a nigga with one oh woman. Cora, I wouldn't give so a sad. fuck That's if I could only fuck for once a week. I'm going to rotate me by three oh bitches. Lord. Say it again, Marcus. I wouldn't give wait, a fuck. Wait, wait, Marcus, because the people got to hear you, brother. <laughs> I wouldn't give a fuck. I want to hear the proclamation after this. Okay. Go what? ahead, Marcus. I, I wouldn't give a fuck if I could only fuck for once a week. I'm going to rotate three bitches. There you go. So whoever. Well, good luck with them. Riding is everything. If you can't fuck, you can fuck it with nursing home hoes, boy. <laughs> you gonna be a nursing home heifer having ass nigga. Ain't nothing like Mariah. Mm -hmm. from this conversation, because we're gonna go into your shit right okay, after this. Yeah. What is your proclamation after hearing all this, D? To each his own. But I don't believe that there is a hundred percent. All males that roll like that. They've been programmed. Oh, Lord. Listen, man, your dick is designed to produce. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Think about nature. Your dick is, is designed to, pro to produce many children. You hear me? Okay. You get pregnant, you might can have multiple, possibly. You hear me? Let's check back Watch in and about when you're Corey's age again, and we'll see how you, how you, all your issues, let me, how your problems. Let me tell you. You're going to be all you. complaining. Huh? We'll, we'll break out the little violin. That's, That's one thing what? I will thank. God, you thank you for my life. What? Thank you for my life, God. Oh. I am so appreciative <laughs> of what all you have given me, allowed me to see. Uh. I done fucked all these hoes you put before me. Like Lord, Johnson, I want to thank Wayne. you for the life you about to get me. Because I know I'm finna cut up out here in these streets. I feel it. What is Isaiah spirit. chapter Tyrell 4, Vaughan. verse 1? I hear you, okay. Com, what's that? Kambil. He, he said a yard. I, I, I can look it up. Oh, what is Isaiah chapter 4, verse 1? We'll get to that after. Look, we'll get back to this. I like Let's that come name. with these Kambil. loose talk, talk about, about booze oh, shit. Because D got to go get ready for surgery. <laughs> I know. I hope they doing something. I hope they fuck with your head while you're out. <laughs> I didn't program them back right. 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 Okay. I hope you get up. It's all right for him to have Thanks. another bitch. How does he treat me good? Oh, God. <laughs> you living life in luxury. You worry about it. What is it to you that I, would, that I want that? That I'm that looking for That you want what? Looking for a, a solid guy. What is a solid guy? That's faithful. He can be to faithful him. to you and another woman. Wait, what's faithful? That's what I'm saying. Woman. What is Just it? Just with me. Huh? Yeah. No, that ain't faithful. That's yeah, foolish. You to you, Marcus. That's it. See, I'm not knocking Listen. your. I'm not knocking your little. Uh, you don't know what coochie feel like, do you? You don't understand. <laughs> That's so lame. If it's just coochie, come on, Marcus. That's easy. Look, Darlene, my son is calling never, me. Facetime. You will never answer the phone. <laughs> <laughs> Sweetheart, I'm on air. Oh, shoot. Okay. The ice. <laughs> What's up, man? <laughs> we on the air right now. I just got off. I just got off my Twitch. Look at my little setup. Oh, oh shit. damn! Don't be showing Corey. This, this, this motherfucker got the whole. <laughs> this motherfucker got a uh, a, a command center a over there. <laughs> <laughs> nah, 
I, I was going to ask you something on air, but I'm going to ask you off air. Uh-oh, he's going to ask you something off air personal. How about I, it? Ain't, it ain't personal, it's just he might be around a lady. Oh, you missed what he said. What he say? What, baby? Oh, man. That's beautiful. Yeah, man. He said he's calling to say he misses mom and hopes she have a good surgery tomorrow. That's a good son. Yeah, man. That's a good son. No, that, we see him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good son. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. That's a good son. 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 Yeah, man. That's a I was going to ask him, how many holes you got? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he might be with somebody. Ask no. know she done met plenty of holes. What? No, as far as I know, my son, huh? I sent you the Bible verses. The oh, Bible. he sent the Bible verses to you. No, we going to come back to that when D oh. gone. Okay, well. D finna go, I think. I'm just going to start it off, of course, on the somber side. Let's get it out of the way. It's just so many people passing, like just all just... Back to back to back. I mean, where do we start and where do we end? Because there's so many, and I know I'm, I, I just already want to say uh, sorry if I forgot somebody because they just keep coming in. Anyway, of course, rest in peace to Sidney Poitier. Um, huge loss to the uh, movie industry, mm -hmm. to the community, to, man, he was incredible. Of course, everybody, if you've never seen In the Heat of the Night, that was a very, very important scene in that movie where he smacked that southern cop in the face. I don't know if you ever saw the movie. Is that, I think Davison Idris did a reenactment of that. Probably. He killed it too. Probably. But anyway, that's where he says, you know, they call me Mr. Tibbs. That's where that line comes from. Anyway, you guys should check it out if you haven't. Of course, he earned five Academy Awards in, in that same year, 1968, which, by the way, when it was, it was a huge deal because that was the same within, what was it, months maybe, when Martin Luther was uh, assassinated. Right after that. Um, how, so old, how old was he? He paved the way for, for actors. Ah, 94. Oh, he lived. He yeah, lived. no, no, no. He had a great life. So, you know, rest in peace. Our condolences <laughs> to his family. Oh, yeah. That nigga winked at me on the plane. Shut <laughs> your head. Every, everybody's <laughs> winked at me. Wink. You know, I, I, I know that brother influence mm -hmm. in the game is, is, is something that's good. He was like one Nelson of the Black yeah. actors that they um, recognized <laughs> um, to a certain extent. Right. But, you know, Sidney Poitier, this week I was reminded that eventually we get old and we pass on. And it's really hard to think about this shit. I can't believe I'm going to die one day. But here's Am the I thing. Am I tripping? Do he look like Nelson Mandela? He do sort look of. like Nelson Mandela, yeah, sort, of. sort of, but sort not of. up close. Oh, God. If you saw them together, Sidney Poitier is actually <clears throat> a very tall, dark-skinned brother. He's big. Yeah. Sydney Porter ain't no little bitty motherfucker. Okay. But to, yeah. to, to bank on, to, to, to furthermore, what you saying, Corey, you're right. Everybody's got a pass. That nigga winked on me at the How, plane. <laughs> but I think it was probably more of a wink like, hey, brother, I see you. Yeah. He seems like that kind of dude, like, hey, man. Instead of doing, I don't think he's the nod guy. I think that's an old school thing where they. Yeah, like, it's, 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 you, it's a lot of old school guys that do that. Like, yeah, like older like, guys. Hey, brother, like, I, that's their, that's yeah, like, man. I see you. We're all up in this yeah. plane. Anyway. Um, our condolences to his family. And, 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 but again, to speak on what you were just saying, Corey, yeah, everybody passes, but he had a life. To live in your 90s? Man. Good man. Miss so. Lady say the fake Chris Rock gonna beat me up. <laughs> That's <laughs> funny. Yeah. Rick Rock came with my ass. <clears throat> he came with my ass. <laughs> also, <laughs> we weren't <laughs> able to, I so was able to. Like, oh. <laughs> small sound and stuff. Um, Max Julian, of course, <laughs> AKA the Mac. We didn't get a chance to speak high on that because I wasn't here last week, but of course he was, you know, Goldie in the uh, black exploitation films back in the 70s. So rest in peace to him. And I didn't Who have uh, Max, uh, Max Julian. The oh, yeah, the pimp. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <clears throat> well, you he, know him he as played a pimp. pimp. Yeah. yeah, I know he played Oh, he pimp. played a pimp. Yeah. Played as a pimp. known as a pimp. Right. There you go. I didn't know he was 6'2". And he, um, he, he, he lived and he moved here from Washington, but he lived in Sherman Oaks. You know he had a ponytail. I should have did. did. I should have did. I should have did a... Uh, uh, he knows she smashed this nigga. Talk about oh, this. my God. Max he got a, he got a good monologue. He got a good monologue on that. I'm going I'm to do me a monologue for him. He got, he got a good monologue on that. He he talk, I'm going to go watch that. I'm going to watch. Let me see. I'm going to do I'm going to go. I'm going to get... Yeah, I'm going to go get Dapper on and, and, and do a live real quick. Also, um... 
Rest in peace to Betty White. She was a legendary actress, uh, died of natural causes at the age of 99 on New Year's Eve. She was from Illinois. Um, she's about to celebrate her 100th birthday on the 17th, so the city of Chicago, or Illinois is gonna do a lot of um, big things for her. Uh, she almost made it there, but anyway, if you do not know a lot about Betty White, you should watch a documentary that was just released on Netflix. It's really good, and you'll be able to see all the things she did because Betty she stood White. for equality, and she had she could have lost her very first very big TV show, but she stood her ground to say that she won her friend, who was a, a black dancer, mm -hmm. a gentleman. Oh, look at Betty. And, oh, no, she was gangster. She put her foot down a lot. She just put that wood people, on her. So, oh, Betty, here we go. Betty, look. Always something. Betty looked like she told her tummy gun back have. in the day. She would probably have said she's funny as heck, but anyway, uh, rest in peace. And she, again, lived a hell of a life. She was almost 100. Uh, our condolences and the reason why I'm wearing this hat it is an official Kango hat, and it was actually my son's when he was little, um, to Kango of UTFO. We didn't get a chance to uh, speak on that um, when the year started. Uh, at Jesse D., um, one of the founding members and lead vocalists of the Force MDs, he just passed away on the 4th. And our condolences to our boy Troy, because Troy was literally like brothers with him. He was really close to him, so he's taking it pretty hard. Um, tender and, Love, that's on, that's on Tender Love. Oh yeah, they yeah. did Tender Love, and Love is a oh, House. Oh, this is right here. Yeah. I got Kango's number. I wonder what happened if I call it. I'll be wondering oh, that. Like, oh, <laughs> I'm saying when you know people. Hi, I Kango, call in honor of you, my, my brother. Look. I met the brother a couple of times. He was, Super he was nice. a good brother. Yes. Good brother. Yes. And, all, and yeah. all the folks on the Force MDs, and if you recall, um, Stevie D, who's the last remaining member, he came to perform. If you guys look back on my Instagram, he came and he sang. Remember, he sang to me with uh, some other replacements for the group on uh, back in 2018 for my birthday and for Valentine's. Do you know who Bob, Paul, I mean, um, I'm mm -hmm. sorry, Saget was, Bob Saget? Bob Saget. Yeah, I was, was just going to say Bob Saget. They, all just, them folks died this past week. And it is not, oh, yeah, yeah. So Damn, 2022, people. you coming in strong. Coming in Tough man, man. It took about seven folks. I met, I'm I met Bob Saget. Bob Saget. Y'all think I'm? I've heard of nothing but good things. I hope you don't have think it. I'm oh, a blue, some shit, You think man. I'm a blue comedian? Uh oh. Bob Saget played the TV dad, and on the TV dad, he there played he the is. straight shooter. Mm -hmm. But if you ever go see Bob Saget in stand up, person. you see some wild shit, cause he will say it. Now that's a motherfucker who I'd be like, wow. He I was like, both. yeah, he knew how to, yeah, play both things. But. but my experience with him, mm -hmm. he was a good dude. I didn't pick up on no motherfucking phony um, fake vibe, right? Yeah. No racism or none of that shit when I met him. So I just don't. I don't know him real good. But when I met him, he was like, "Hey, what's up, man? Woo, 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 mm -hmm. woo!" Before he knew who I was. Look at that. Before I was introduced as he a felt comedian comfortable. to him. Uh -huh. Yeah. So man, it's a damn peace. shame that um, we go too soon, man. We I, I and, you know, and his was. Oh, I'm sorry. His was ultra scary. I don't know if you know what happened. Tell him. But, I, I but, heard what happened. But, but anyway, he was out on the road. And he actually just doing like, you know, somebody would normally do. Tell your loved one, you know, your wife, I'll see you tomorrow when I get home or whatever. End of the show and never woke up. Was in his hotel room. They found him. She said he didn't make his flight. Can the hotel go check? And there he was just laying there. They say he died in his sleep. But can you imagine how sad and scary that is? Like, it, it no, it's better to die in your sleep. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I know that, but I'm just saying how <laughs> you sad. You probably had a mean ass nightmare though. That, that when you went out. Yeah. No, he performed it, and he said, "Show went." No, I'm saying like, like, like you die in your so sleep. Sad. I imagine you having a nightmare, and you just go out. You never know. Well, know. nightmares. I mean, you always wake up when you die. What? Wait, what? Every nightmare. <laughs> Y'all haven't noticed that? Uh, uh, Every nightmare, uh, right yeah. when you get ready to die, you be like, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, right. So, that's what I'm saying. So, if you have a you nightmare. You die in your sleep. So, if you have a nightmare and then you end up dying mm. and you gone for real, then that's. Mm. that's, that's it's an emergency okay. latch in your mind. Whenever you're getting ready to die, your mind be like, Shh. you be like, yeah. Oh. Yep. Oh, shit. Wake up and stop I bullshitting. Met, no, I met him last year, though, when I did I Can See Your Voice. Oh, that's what yeah. yeah, he was one of the judges on the panel. Yeah. yeah so rest was. in peace, everybody. I'm sorry if I forgot anybody. It's just like all people all of a sudden every you just man, it's somebody new every day. It's sad. So stop bullshitting out here and um, Big shout out to yeah. my brother. He's a comedian. Somebody his else. His name, there? we know him as Uptown. Jesus. When I was that? coming up, his name is Kirkpatrick Taylor. He from Chi Town. He just passed too? Huh? His comedy name was Uptown. No, nah, his comedy name is Uptown. Mm -hmm. He hasn't passed. But he's in a coma due to this COVID shit. Oh. I seen him on Facebook, 
And he was like saying, uh, but you know, he's silly. So he was in the hospital bed acting silly. And um, I'm gonna tell you something that happened. Like, I don't really listen to people when they be like, hey, send some money. I, I, I kind of cut him off, but I wish I would have sent some money. And I'm just saying, but he, but he hasn't Uptown, passed. if you come up out this coma, homie, I'm going to pay your bills for two months. Come up out this coma. Don't worry about that bullshit. Might pay it more than that. I'm just saying. But you can't. That is big, Corey. I wish I would. I spoke to him on Facebook. You know what I'm yeah, saying? I said, yeah. what's up? But Next I hear thing you I know, the they trust, was like, yeah. he in a coma. <gasps> I'm like, damn it. Mm. I wish I, I mean, so I'm saying like. James M. Toomey, another one. Oh, my God. You're right, Brooklyn King. Thank you. Right. James M. Toomey, rest in peace. My goodness. Who is that? Where? Oh, they said a name. I don't know. Anyway, Jesus. fuck it. Mm. No, I don't matter. Oh, well, that was John Madden. Yeah. yeah, John Madden. We said that one. Man. Oh, you said but, John Madden? So you don't know the status of his condition. I don't right know now. what's happening with Kirkpatrick Taylor, but. Well, let's send some everybody, everybody who got. I got to find out is he all right if he come up out that coma. So if anybody knows Because if he come up out that coma, I got him. Oh. I got you, my nigga. I got, all, I got at least two months of your bills, dog. I got you. Oh, brother. Okay, um, so... Somebody said, Corey, feeling guilty. I wouldn't what? say guilty is the feeling, but I saw at one time he was just on the oxygen. Yeah. He was laughing and joking. Next thing I know, he was on a respirator, and now motherfuckers telling me he in a coma. Oh, my God. So it's like, I don't like... I, man, life is, <laughs> life is cold, It man. is, it is. And speaking of life is cold, here we go. So all... Wait, raise your arm, Marcus. That baking soda didn't work. <laughs> hey, Boy, your arm look like a pussy. I <laughs> Man, you just looked at that comments, man. Y'all hey, shut the hell up. <laughs> Shit. Shut the hell up. Hey. I'm going to headlock you and fuck you under your arm. Oh, oh, oh man. Hey. Come on, man. Jesus. God. Man, you, well, you just two dogs, man. Yes, he is. See? <laughs> That's your friend. Okay. Somebody said, oh, there, them dirty motherfuckers. <laughs> Fuck y'all. Stop trying to egg that Rick Ross. You know? Yes. Yeah, I hope my brother Rick Ross ain't bad. God damn it. Yeah, yeah. Jokes, yeah. Uh, so, any to all. Okay, with my hand, though. I meant that. Oh, right here there. we go. Chokehold. Mm -hmm. That would be a hell of a one to see. Oh, anyway, yeah. Big, to, big to, two. <laughs> out of shape um, niggas. Just... To all the uh, Aaliyah fans, heads up. Her fourth album called Unstoppable will actually be released. Yup, man. Hey, you gotta do, mate. You know what I mean? By her estate, um, by her estate, basically by her uncle Barry Hankerson, who owns all her rights. And only after many years of family fighting for her rights of her music, he and the label Black Brown Music will be releasing her fourth album this month. No exact dates yet, against her family's wishes. It'll contain unreleased songs that have featured Neo, Snoop, Drake, Chris Brown. Only a few to mention, there's many more. Uh, not only will this new album be available now, her entire catalog now is also available for streaming. If you notice, it never was before because her family was fighting with him for the rights for it, and now everything of hers is available to stream, including the Romeo Must Die soundtrack, which was never available at all. Oh, all the music ready right everything now? Everything is yeah, available Oh, yeah, streaming. I want to hear that. Uh, her new album isn't out yet, but all no, her stuff No, I'm talking about the old available. stuff. Oh, hell I yeah. I want that. that, that it's been too long. But most, and I'm most of her fans, for some too. reason, are, yeah, they're all, you know, yeah, upset right about there. it or whatever. I mean, of course, we, Ooh, we know that he's yes. probably trying to make money off of it, yes, but we we definitely want to get it. Yeah. You know, people want to hear it. I do. I'm a huge Elliot fan. How about oh, you? Baby girl. I, I try um, not to leave it alone because I'd be cracking jokes about shit. Of yeah, course, it's terrible what happened, you know what I'm saying, with her getting on that plane and shit. Sad, I know. Um, but. If Aaliyah comes out, whoever coming up off her, what can you say? Yeah. What do you say about somebody who come up off somebody who? Who's passed, yeah, and they're putting out a, a, a you know, yeah. a new album. Well, it's Man. going to her, her fun. Get your goof ass up, man. Yeah, you he said her uncle ain't said You about to like get that. her fun. Yeah, exactly. The world, the world, what, 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 who, who, who taking this up? Her uncle owns all her rights. Her mom and her brothers don't. They were fighting Wait against each other. How he win? Who knows? I don't know. But he was, he was, I guess, on the label, right, that she was on before. So he had a leg up. But so still. so did, he, did he help her get to where she got? Well, you don't she know. At? I don't know. I don't know those details. So oh, OK. So see. I mean, because okay. if he was the, I mean, so in other words, he argue with that? The proper person is in charge of that. <laughs> nah. <laughs> huh? 
<laughs> That's the yeah. That is true. That is true. That's sad, but he does own all of it, which is interesting. So we'll see. Um, I'm looking forward to it. I don't know about y'all. Um, what is that? Is that real? That's a different type of money, though. Japan. Greetings from Japan. Yeah. We what is yen? Here. How much yen, man? A hey, yen. hey, see how much money that is in Thanks, Japan. Thanks, Brian Bourne. If you guys aren't watching the somebody uh, live say a black, black man, man in Japan doing, doing what, what can. I can. Oh. Brian Bourne. That nigga over there told him he Jason Bourne. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Brian. Thank you, brother. Good looking um, out, Brian, for that yen. <clears throat> so, uh, a totally different flip on things. The U.S. What happened? That's eight dollars. Get that pussy motherfucker <laughs> off the street. <laughs> oh, fuck. Wait a minute. Hey, hey he, did the, he did that thousand of intention because he knew that shit was going to look good right though. there. You know what I mean? It's still something. You're you still a slick nigga, we boy. We fucking you, with you, man. You might be in Japan, but you're still a slick nigga, boy. I'll take you about the fuck. You're stupid. <laughs> anyway, uh, the U.S. Mint will finally be releasing some new coins uh, featuring the first black woman, Maya Angelou, will appear on New Quarters. Later this year, um, she'll be one of four women. Uh, on the other coins will be some other women. Um, I didn't even like it. That's Aaliyah. That ain't Maya Angelou. No, I know that one's still up. They haven't switched it. I want to um, see the picture of Maya Angelou. The coin that they're the going to use. Uh, the new coin. Because I know they're going to have an awful picture. A mouth going to be open in there. No, no, no. She, she dancing on the back of that motherfucker. She's she holding like, her arms open. It's, she flying it's, some it's, chicken. It's kind, of <laughs> it's kind of pretty. There's like a bird. And anyway, but, um, but they remixed George Washington on the front. They wait, no. I was just going to say that. Made that nigga Marcus Indian. knows the, the news. Yeah. So anyway, unfo- to me, it's weird, but they're still going to have a version of George Washington Why do the young on the know? other side. So on the other side... Of all these women, so-called, they're excited about it, coins, George Washington is still going to be on the flip side, but it's going to be an altered version, and he actually looks younger. I thought they made him Native American. That's the new one. Look at the ponytail. The <laughs> so, I mean, that's the other side of the coin. got French Montana on the front of that motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> he got an IT ponytail in this book. <laughs> so I don't get it. Anyway, interesting. But at least she got, you know, I don't know, something. So anyway, they say collect as many as you can because there's only a certain amount and it's going to be a, this, this year. Is her coin release. Um, also, my last thing Is I just want to say. she getting from that? I don't know. They didn't say. I'll have to look that up. But anyway, congratulations to Will Smith. I have been listening to his aud- aud- Audible book and it is excellent. I'm not finished yet, and it is just blowing my mind. Of course, because you know he's 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 uh, reading it, he's performing. So it's like you're there with him. He really puts his all into it. And I also want to say, if anybody or if Will, you ever catch this, hashtag Will. There's a whole uh, chapter where he talks about an era where he was first starting, and I have photos from those places because I was there. We were all in New York, you know getting into hip hop, new music seminar, it was huge. If you were in the industry of music at all, you would be there every year. It was the place to be. People would fly into New York for like two weeks straight. It was amazing. So in 1985, when DJ Jazzy won the, um, the DJ competition and Will was there on stage, I have photos of him on stage where he's talking about that very moment. So I would love to give him copies. I don't think he has pictures. I was not, I was taking photos of everybody. Anyway, I, I, I was right there. So when he was talking about that whole moment, Go ahead. when he was talking about that whole moment, that book is excellent. It, it's, well, I'll it, tell you this. It right, speaks, anyway, he speaks eight about more his whole life. No, <laughs> he speaks about his whole life and how everything started. I think Will Smith is an excellent speaker. It was. Oh, it, yeah. He's it, excellent. It's Amazing. It's great, you guys. So He should have won an award for that motherfucking movie he did where he was motherfucking in New York by himself. Which one was that? I am legend. I am legend. Yeah. There you go. I thought he was. I thought he was very strong. I love when he choked the dog out. I like pursuit of happiness. Yeah, all those movies. See, pursuit and, of happiness was all the time. Until I've listened to the book, I, you forget all the stuff he did. But when you listen to the book, he explains how all those the background and how everything fell in place. It's incredible. So yeah, I gotta give it. He and Barnes and Noble. Yeah, but you might want to do the Audible because he it's said Barnes really- and Nobles, ladies and gentlemen. Do the Audible, even if you I said Barnes and Noble. Barnes and Noble. <laughs> Is he, was he born noble? That's what you said. <laughs> was he born noble? <laughs> hey, they be inboxing me like, man, we understand what you're saying, anyway, Marvin. It's cool to be fucking Thank with you. Thank you, Will. What a Niggas great your- uh, um, body of work. <laughs> Another one, so. Respect. Yeah, so that's respect. what's up, D. I Thanks hope, for I want to your- get him those photos anyway. 
Somebody say I am legend was dumb. I don't know. I mean, that's, everybody entitled to their opinion, but silly. but that but that when he was talking to that dummy in the store and shit, yeah, he, and was, he was able to make himself um, cry, which is not easy to do. No man, to really get into the emotion. When you get it, you can't cry, Marcus. Why you be acting like you could cry? Cowry, I did it on the show he one said, time. Said Cowry, <laughs> don't touch your face, and we're gonna see. We're gonna come. No, back he can't because we just put him on the spot. He can't make oh. himself cry. Okay, man. okay, go into the scene right now. What scene? Whatever scene to make yourself cry. You walked in on somebody who you care about getting the shit fucked out of. You, you, I ain't gonna cry for that. You walked in and you saw Corey and your mom. Oh, I ain't gonna cry for that neither. You Don't play like that, Darlene. See, that would make you cry. See? Darlene snuck that one in. She snuck it. She snuck it with the uppercut. I would cry. If Came I with uppercut. <laughs> you wouldn't cry. I'd cry if I seen y'all two going there. Then what? Why would you cry? Why would you cry if you saw us going there? That'd, that'd be a terrible, God, that'd be a terrible sight. Like, oh, Corey, <laughs> you destroyed my eyes, Corey. <laughs> I can't believe you. Fuck you, Marcus. God damn it. I bet you won't fuck with they that shirt now. They say your underarms are crying. Right. <laughs> 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 Woo! Marcus, oh. hug you, bitch. You gonna be, that's how your man oh, gonna get caught. God. Who you been hugging? This is, <laughs> you around a wet nigga. <laughs> Anyway, you hug oh, the nigga in the club. I gotta go and get ready for this surgery. All right, then get the fuck out. So what mm -hmm. we gonna do now, real shit, we gonna take a quick break. And we're going to let Darlene do her thing. And we're going to come right back because we're going to wrap this show up like it's supposed to be wrapped Thank up. Thank you. Thank but, you, Mr. Um, King. Y'all hang in there. Give us no more, no more than five, ten minutes on this break. We'll be right back because we're doing this shit different now. It's going to be compact. Ooh. 5150, we'll be right back, motherfuckers. Hi. Yeah. He just wanted to stand up and let her pants. Shut up.
5150 is back in the house without a woman running her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> we put D the fuck out. We went out there to get something to eat. Scout. Anyway, fuck it, I'm running out of shit. <laughs> 5150 in the motherfucking house, you dig what I'm saying? During these breaks, we be trying to be efficient, trying to come back with some motherfucking raw ass shit, you dig what I'm saying? Uh, I don't know when they gonna have this motherfucking shit queued up. Y'all got it? Yeah. Give it to me. Yeah. 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 My wife, babysitting, my bitch, son, things turned out all right. All things turned out all right. My wife, babysitting, my bitch, son, things turned out all right. Hey, it turned out all right. Tell you how it went, y'all. My bitch needed somebody to watch her child. I said, I got your back. Girl, I got your back. I picked the little boy up and I took him to the crib. My wife, she cooked like that. No questions, cooked like that. Yeah. She knew I got hoes out in the street. The boy was so nice. My wife was proud to me. This child I belongs to my other. Both of y'all share this dick. My, my wife, baby, sitting, my bitch, son. This turned out all right. Hey, oh, this turned out, out all right. right. My wife, baby, sitting, my bitch, son. This turned out all right. Things hey. that it turned out. What happened, Mark? Hey. Hey. It started off with my wife and me. Now we a blended family. Blended family. Got one, two, now three. Now three. Hey, y'all bitches come lay with me. Lay with me. Hey, don't play. Bitch, don't play. Hey, what I say. What he say. We gonna do it that way. We gonna do it that way. Hey, I don't care if she gay. Care if she gay. Hey, hey, we gonna put them together and mold them like clay. Hey, ah, my wife, baby, shit, my bitch, son. Things turned out all right. Yeah, things turned turn out, out all right. My wife, baby, shit, my bitch, son. It turned out all right. It turned out all right. Listen. My bitch picked her son up about three in the morning. Three in the morning, y'all. I got up, got the little boy dressed. Even though my wife was still yawning. She was yawning, but I said, get up, bitch. I want you to meet somebody. This is Lisa. I've been fucking her for a while. Lisa was cute. So my wife began to smile I said I've been wanting to fuck both of y'all at the same time I put the boy in front of the PlayStation And I told him never no mind my yeah. wife Baby shit it My bitch son It turned out alright It turned out alright My wife baby shit it My bitch son it hey. turned out all right. Hey. It turned out all right. Hey. Break hey. down. Had a little boy start calling me Paw Paw. I said, I don't know, you better not be from Arkansas. Shit. Arkansas but, little boy. My got dry. Hold on. Tonka trucks for his toys. <laughs> oh, me. Chocolate it. like almond joy. <laughs> go, go, walk the bar. Let's the go. The little boy, he is coy, but don't matter, y'all. 
You gotta babysit the kids in the village that your man is fucking around with. Yeah. He fucking around with. Let me say that again. You gotta babysit the kids in the village that your man is fucking around with. They come from the same dick. Just cause you're mad, you can't quit. Got a side Fuckin bitch. Bitches. In the same neighborhood ain't good. I don't do it like that. But the bitches that I'm fucking riding on the wood, they must be and greet and have a seat and bless this me. My wife, they visited my bitch son. They turned turn out all right. It turned out oh, all right, huh? It turned out all right. That's right, I got this shit in check. My wife, baby, baby said it. My bitch son. It turned out all right. Damn right it turned out. Hey. The way it's supposed to. Short um. bus productions. <laughs> Marcus got something to say. Hey, she got three bump only claiming one. That nigga right there ain't my son. Not your son. It wasn't me, it was another one. But he cool like that. Hey. I watch the kids, they ain't gotta be mine. Long as the bitches find that I can show off and get some props. I don't fuck with bitches that look like rocks. We running out of shit to say, I'm yeah. about to go away. Hey, We running out of shit to say, I'm about to go away. 5150-2022, you know how we do. Virginia Beach, Funny Bone, I'm on my way. This Friday through Saturday, I don't know the dates, but y'all fuck with me and come see what I got to say. Fuck with me. Doing two days. Talk, hey, what's up? What you got to plug? Uh, I'm doing a TV. Uh, we got two TV taping live streaming Saturday. You know what I mean? Post it on. I'm gonna post it on my Instagram tomorrow. I post it on my Facebook already. You know what I mean? See me get down on stage, man. If you ain't never seen it, you know what I mean. I had a link posted in a couple of days, man. Come holler at me. Somebody Check said, me out. Nursing home lyrics. <laughs> 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 Mr. Willie <laughs> Earl Records. That's what's up. 5150. Love y'all motherfuckers. What's happening? Oh, yeah. We're going to come back to them verses, goddammit. Y'all can wrap the beat up then. Because we want motherfuckers to remember this shit. First of all, I want to tell y'all motherfuckers something, man. For everybody who saw that video in the beginning of the show, I got a homeboy. He's extremely talented with the music. And all that shit, man. Let me let me give y'all the game for real, man. Cause I want y'all motherfuckers who looking for something to motherfucking get up on to get up on. Um, Moody Brothers Animation. They at youtube.com. Um, that's the Moody, that's Charles Moody um animation channel. Um, I want y'all to shout it out and see what my man trying to do. He trying to get his shit cracking, man. He's trying to do something. Um you know what I'm saying? I got some shit working with him, dog. We finna try to make some funny shit out here in the game, man. So, Moody Brothers Animation, man. Y'all go on YouTube and check that shit out. Now, back to that verse that the brother sent. I think we had done some research on this motherfucker. Uh, give me some motherfucking, uh, what's happening with that verse, man? You sent me two pictures? Oh, y'all don't know the verse. Uh, Isaiah 4.1 and Proverbs 31.10. All right. Proverbs. Proverbs 31.10. 10 through 31. King James Version. Who can find a virtuous woman for far above rubies? That's how it came right here. That's that's the main thing you want me to know. <laughs> Who can find a virtuous woman? I I I I eluded if that's the word. Um, yeah, that's Virginia Beach, January 14th through 16th. Fuck with me, y'all. I got to make this video and put it online. But look, I eluded to that finding the virtuous girl when I was fucking with Marcus earlier. 
And I said, can you find a good woman? Isaiah chapter 4, verse 1. Um, he said something else. But am I going to get the whole thing? Girl, I can look no, it up. I can't. I, I, I ain't getting the whole thing. I, I can look it up. Hold on. Y'all give okay. me the pieces. I want to make sure I speak on it because finding the virtuous woman is not something that most men can do in this day and time because we're not taught to fuck with women with virtues. We're taught to look at bitches who get naked on the internet. Those are the bitches who get our attention and tell everybody to make herself feel better. He DM'd me. So I'm just saying, it's like, who are you fucking with? That's what I would say to most guys. Do you fuck with a, a woman who has virtues or a woman who you can hold up for real? Did you get it, Mark? Yeah. You want to read it? I read it. Go ahead. Let Marcus read the shit. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying, we will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Our own what? Apparel. Clothing. Apparel. That's what he said. Go ahead. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Is that, the, is that Isaiah chapter 4, verse 1? That's it. Come Bill, who sent that hundred dollars? That's deep. Now listen, I know that y'all thought the show was over, but I gotta say something about this. Uh, take that thing off there. Listen, Marcus, say that one more time. I want everybody to listen to this, so Reverend Holcomb can give you the game. Go ahead, say it one more time, Marcus. And in that day, seven women shall take hold of one man, saying. We will eat our own bread and wear our own apparel. Only let us be called by thy name to take away our reproach. Our what? Repro reproach. 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 Yeah. Disgrace. I get it. Yeah. We are one. If you break that down into how we speak nowadays, Having seven women that's down for you is in the Bible. Am I wrong? Seven. One for every day of the week. You hear me? One for every day of the week. It might be silly or whatever he said, but this is the Bible that women hold in your face. This is what it said. Somebody said Pearl. P-E-R-R-R-R-L. That's what you said for a pearl. <laughs> Fuck yeah. <laughs> oh, this is a different type of money right there. <laughs> About 50 bucks USD. I watch daily. Thank you, brother. We was talking shit. He said he didn't sit about 50 bucks all together. That's yeah. real shit. Love it, man. So, I mean, like, I got I to gotta talk about this for a second before I get up out of here. Women, are you ready to accept the will of God? Hmm? Come on now. Are you ready to do your duty mm -hmm. by God? Come on, somebody. You have unrealistic expectations thinking you are supposed to control the atmosphere occupied by your man. They say we eat all the same bread. Go ahead. If your man allow you to speak before him in public, you ain't got no man. Mm. If your man allow you to force him to get the poison put in him, you ain't got no man. Nothing. You have a man when he meet up with you and his other bitches and put together something that builds on the family. That's a man right there. Built an empire. Preach, preach up. I can't build what I need to build only fucking you. Mm. I need these people I fuck with in the street to all unite and let's build a solid front. You can't build a real business with just two people. Go ahead. I am tired of the literature put out here 
to the lost sisters of society to think that they have what it takes to keep a man to themselves and they don't know their daddy. Mm. Damn. You ain't got if no good- you don't know your daddy, listen to daddy. Who is daddy? That's the motherfucker that's fucking you and helping you. That's your daddy. Yeah. Once you get a certain age. When you're young, your daddy is just a motherfucker that's helping you. Mm-hmm. Molding you, growing you. I hope your mama got a good daddy for you. God damn it. But listen to me. That's deep. Let's stop acting like the man is bad because he got people on deck that would join the family if the truth was the priority. Mm. You heard that, fellow? They would join the family if the proof was the priority. You got to have the courage to tell these people about each other. Of course the insane bitches you fuck with gonna all get online, look the bitch up, and find everything about her they can find. That's what bitches do is they crystal ball, the internet. Witches used to have the ball, that's played out. Now the bitches get on the internet, they look up everything about the other bitch you fucking, and hold it as collateral. Mm. That's not right. You going against the t- you going against the business. You got to unite with the people that's worth uniting with. I had the courage to tell my woman, "This a trash bitch. I ain't got no business fucking her. Forgive me." Yeah. But if I bring a bitch to you, that bitch has the potential to serve us. Mm. You gotta have the courage to tell your woman that. If you ain't got the courage to tell your woman that, goddamn it, you gonna be out here chasing nightmares. In the courthouse, when your kids get picked up, mm. in the car, by another nigga that's sitting in the front seat. Right. All this shit happen if you ain't got the courage to not only tell your woman what it is, but goddammit, live a life where, goddammit, these motherfuckers hold know about each other. You don't know how to run the business. Your whole don't, about the daddy. If good. your whole don't know about each other, your house is foul. Yeah, say it's deep about that. So you, know, you, you know, a lot of chicks call their man daddy. So you went deep right there. I, I like that. I like that. Your hoes got to know about each other. You can't be out here fucking a bitch more than five times and not tell the woman you care about. Put that on a T-shirt. If you done fucked the bitch five times, you got to tell your woman about this bitch. Yeah. Women serve different purposes. Some girls hum on your nuts for an hour. That ain't no bitch you can get rid of easy. She impotent. Do you know how nuts smell? This bitch be down there for an hour on nuts that's been walked on. Mm-hmm. You think I'm supposed to just get rid of this nut sniffing bitch? That ain't how it go. She willing to make sacrifices. Right. Yeah. Real sacrifices. Yeah. God damn it. You are here because technically you are motherfucking sound. Can't no bitch fuck with you. Hey, baby, I need you to do this. Can you check this out? Um, you get that shit. You, that's your gift, goddammit. And you're beautiful. And you got some good pussy. But this bitch sniff nuts for an hour. I wouldn't put you through that. That's <laughs> what the other bitch for, baby. Goddamn right. Everybody got their position. What about two men? Can the woman have two men? Is that in the Bible somewhere? That's an abomination. That's an abomination, ain't it? That's an abomination. Wish you would have two men. Fuck you gonna have two men and call somebody your man. Mm. Bitch, you belong to the game. If two dicks been in you since 2022, you a wretched ass heifer going to hell. Mm, mm, mm. What is this? This is, this is January what? 11th. If you didn't have two different dicks put in you by the 11th, you are going to hell, bitch. I guarantee you. Email God. He'll tell you God to be like, bitch, I don't fuck with you. Yeah. Because you get pregnant, you don't even know which, which nigga it is. God damn it, these motherfuckers out here playing with the Lord. God damn sperm damn confused. This ain't what Corey say. This is what the Bible say. It said seven, Women. one for every day of the week. Yes, Corey sir. didn't write that. Yes, but sir. you don't like God now? And, and, and you got to think about it. He made seven days for a reason. Yeah, man. Seven days for a reason. Seven days for a reason. Tell seven them. women. Tell them. Seven women. Yeah, you got to get you seven good ones, though. When you get, get past seven, you're getting a little greedy. Your Thursday, bitch, better be a motherfucker worth having. Yes, sir. That's right for the weekend, goddammit, for you yeah. see the bitch you want to hang with. You got to be on Thursday duty. 
You gotta know what, she gotta have your whole day set up for Thursday. Put together. Organize Thursday. You, you just go, that's all you gotta do, organize Thursday, baby. Yeah. We ain't gonna go too long on this shit, but y'all keep sending them scriptures y'all want me to expand on. I am really here to deliver the word of God. They, I am ordained, I can marry people. I'm gonna marry somebody on this show one day. I'm an ordained minister. I am here to help you. Don't be ashamed because Corey Holcomb gospel is better than your preacher gospel. All that sucker shit and a sister singing. That ain't shit. Listen to the word. God damn it. They send the cash ups too, y'all. Thanks for the offering. We appreciate it. That's right. The cash ups always be good, god damn it. Everybody yeah. who supported the show, man, we appreciate y'all, man. Y'all motherfuckers be helping us get through this shit, man. I think I got to get Nia and them some money either this week or next week. I know that because they looking at me when I came in. I was like, I want to start at eight. They was like. <laughs> anyway, big shout out to y'all, 5150, man. Thank y'all for watching. We up out of here. Catch y'all next week. Love.